Good evening folks, this is Darth Ravage 07 coming at you again with another quick review tonight and I'm just trying to help, you know, build my channel as we are going through an ongoing crisis here and i um, up to 47 subscribers there so if you could help a guy out by hitting the smash and like buttons down below at the end of the video here that would certainly be appreciated and uh, tell me what you think of the video this is going to be a quick review kind of uh, covering an older exclusive figure not well not too old it's last year but I'm going to pause this real quick and then we'll get this set up right here and uh, I'm shooting this for the first time from the lair of Darth Ravage just one moment please and here is the real meat and potatoes of what I was shooting the video for tonight trying to get up to the over the 50 mark on my subscribers list uh, I got this guy last year from GameStop. It's uh, none other than the crossover series Ectotron 1. Uh, the Ecto-1 from the Ghostbusters series movies. And uh, I just got to say this is such an excellent idea. And with that excitement, I know that like with the new Top Gun movie coming out, we're getting a Maverick figure. And then last week we got news about a, a Back to the Future DeLorean. And then today I found out as I got home from a meeting I couldn't get out of that it's already sold out from walmart.com and that therein is you know why i get so like triggered <laughs> it's just like i don't know i'm not the only one that missed that today and there's only gonna be 1985 pieces to coincide with the 1985 release of the back to the future movie that's, well, that's all nice and whatnot it wasn't really i know there's an october release coming on hazard pulse that me and several of you several other folks as watch this video are you know going to have to go try to snag that version i hope it's not too much radically different i hope that the the hazard pulse version has the fold-up wheel still and the, the little hook and stuff and whatnot but who knows it's just part of the pain that it comes with these exclusives but this is like really nicely done box art here that's why I, I've, I've opened this but in the past and i usually don't do this but i just wanted to get through and show you that you know this is really great hasbro this is what we want i mean we need to be able to be able to get a hold of the, the these exclusives especially the fans of this like we grew up with this and this is just another hat tip to the greatness of the g1 box art with the old school tech specs and whatnot and then you can uh pause this right here i think and uh you can read it and or you can go on to other youtubers and, and see this up close and personal but this kind of stuff gets me excited and i love I'll, I'll, I'll buy this as long as it's available to be able to be bought uh should be part of the 35th anniversary and or you know that kind of this crossover line and uh th this should be more than 1985 pieces available because there's a lot of us still out there that love the 80s that oh it'd be neat to have like an 80 you know 18 you know transformer crossover or a ghostbusters ectotron crossover this is a really great deal let's just not shortcut and shoot sales in the foot and uh keep people from getting a hold of this with all that rambling said and whatnot um i'm gonna get this guy out of the box go go through uh the nice features of his car mode and the accessories he comes with and uh really really glad that they they're doing these lines it's just a, let's not make it as hard as today with i saw a lot of frustration with folks uh trying to uh obtain, obtain one and uh i wasn't even at home to to get into fun on that and that's that's equally frustrating because we have, we all have obligations we gotta go do and take care of especially in the, the midst of this crisis and then try to more importantly i, I we're better off than most but we still are we, we, we got a house payment that has to be paid every month and and, and so it, stuff has to be paid and done <laughs> And I've also got a Patreon, and we'll try to get it, you know, the stuff banged out on it. So, and hopefully have people start following me on Patreon and uh, pledging to, to some of my quick video reviews. But like I said, let me get this paused out of box and go through the features here of the figure itself. Thanks again for watching, and please like, subscribe if you haven't done so down below there. Hang on one second. And here is Ectotron out of box, and he comes with... Uh, rubberized slimer here don't know if it'll pick up good here on the camera oh, there it goes and uh really nice that they added slimer here to this uh release and uh he uh the outside of the box art and the packaging this is just a really nicely detailed and done uh, transformer not too complicated to transform uh, he's got his white wall tires there if you spin around to the front here 
This hearse is uh, probably one of the more famous hearses in all movie history. And I just think that's a, that's why this is such a great idea and an opportunity for Hasbro to you know release these and release more of these in the future and uh, get it right. You got Ecto one on the front there with his uh, car. I didn't even notice that they had this on this side, but didn't have it over here. So it's that, that kind of bugs me, but it's it's it is faithful to the movie and stuff. I love the symbol on the side of the car, and uh, I like that they get some soft goods here, so you, maybe you won't tear it up uh, when you go to do the transformation. I don't know why that's oh it, it came unpegged, <laughs> and that that's. What, that's what happens sometimes with these these uh, soft rubbery parts. They can come undone. But it's really neat how all this incorporates into the accurate uh, movie mode. And then there's nothing on the license plate back here. You can see the doors, the double doors where they pull their pronto uh, packs and other equipment out of the back of the, the hearse Ecto-1. And uh, one of the fun funnest uh, Transformers I got last year. Just totally unexpected. I've always thought it would be cool that they would do this and now they're actually doing it. Let's just not sh shortchange the fans and, and exclusivity like uh, a certain amount of pieces that, I mean, I heard there was website problems and I heard that, that whenever it did come up it was sold out. So it's frust frustrating on all parts and I've seen this with other exclusives in the past as well. But I mean, let's come on, let's let's get this to the masses, guys. This should be a mass release. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna pause this and get him into his robot mode and show off all his little features there. Thanks again for watching, and we're gonna pause. And like the Ray Parker Jr. song, "Bustin' Makes Me Feel So Good." <laughs> it just was so great to get this guy in hand. As you can see uh, up here in his face, we got some good details. Uh, he's got his mask from the movie and then he's got his little badge there I don't know if you can see it at all where's the hoot there I'm trying to get into it there it says Electrotron on his little name badge there on the chest and zoom back out and uh, just a great overall package he is G1 Kibblicious like any G1 boxed Transformer should be and same goes with the, what I saw with the DeLorean a while ago Here's the back side with the proton pack and the accompanying cords. And I like how it changes from going down the road to being an actual proton pack for uh, Ectotron here. Uh, love the white wall tires and the little uh, light details there. It's really nicely done. The paint apps on mine are pretty awesome. And uh, that's just a really nice thing. Uh, went through a little bit of a snafu with my sky warp in my two pack for target exclusive his shoulder was busted out of package but this guy was great through and through uh loved being able to get a hold of this guy and, and the slimer there and uh, i think that all of the other future crossovers should be able to get bought by the fans as well instead of being you know cut off shy there and uh anyway hoping a hasbro pulse uh whenever that happens in october it's more readily available for like a mass release kind of to where folks can and you got your exclusive that just came out today and or have another you know run of those uh do another 1985 of those you know for the first i mean how, however it needs to be handled handle it and and give folks a chance to get a hold of the cool stuff i just loved like all the details they put in the work into this guy and i love what i saw there and i also like what i saw in pictures of uh top gun maverick you know anyway looking very forward to this crossover line hoping that they do like a team and the other stuff in the 80s as well there's a lot of really nice vehicles that this crossover line can keep going there and have like a whole back catalog of the crossovers uh and uh they could also do uh, <laughs> An alternators version like they I mean, it is a real hearse i mean that they did this with but anyway uh guys if you like this video make sure to subscribe to my channel it goes to help out us guys that are you know trying to you know support our families during this time of crisis and uh and thank you again to all those that have subscribed and trying to get over the 50 subscription mark and then eventually the 100 once i get to 100 i'll try to go for 500 and so on and so forth uh come up with some special giveaways you know for whoever you know that you know 
100th subscriber and then those milestones like that and then we want to get to a thousand i'll have like a bigger giveaway for that one as well uh thanks again to all who has subscribed and like let me know what you think about you know like this video and then and or comment below let me know what you think truly about the exclusivity it's just like we got hit all at once here in the last couple of weeks with exclusives 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 <laughs> and uh and one of the most trying times ever so it's it kind of just feels like i'm not i know i'm not the only one that's had a little bit of trouble you know weighing out okay gotta get this gotta get this that stuff's gotta be passed and it, it, you know it just it kind of takes away from the fun a little bit you know when something's not readily available uh, to be able to get bought. Or if you're doing something online, it should be there <laughs> and not have the quirks and whatnot. Have a nice night. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate you guys. And uh, to all or one, keep on busting. Ghostbusters.